Hi, my name is Ashik. I'm the CEO of Deputy. Today we are excited to launch a brand new feature in Deputy. It's called Auto Scheduling. We have been working on it for over two years. Matter of fact, I, I, I'm so excited. Next time you log into Deputy, just hit this auto button. And when you press this auto button, Deputy will go and build the ultimate schedule for you. In order to do this, it's actually doing and doing number of different things. To start with, it can actually find out, hey, when your business demands are, like when you, your sales will be high or your store traffic will be high, then it actually finds out, hey, how many people are required to fulfill those demands at different times of the day. Based on that, it will try to build different shift structures for you. And after that, it will try to go and put the best employees in those shifts for you. And that's how you get a complete schedule. Now, let me just break it down for you a little bit. The first thing we had to actually had to do is build a complete new demand system in Deputy. Previously, you could only enter cells. Now you can enter as many different metrics as you like. For example, I have a cafe business over here that I can go, hey, uh, I can track how many coffees I've sold. So I can, um, I know when to put in how many, sorry, how many baristas I need at what time of the day. That's a unit type, or I can have different dollar amounts as well. I can give it a different color. And I can also say that, hey, my prediction is what it has been for the last two weeks. So if I don't enter any data on how many coffees are gonna get sold this week, for example, it will guess it based on what has happened in past two weeks, or same, same period last year. And once I put all these different metrics in, I can actually go in to build my staff count. And to do my staff count, I can go to the required staff and click on the build, menu, uh, build button and say that, hey, for every $100 worth of sales, this is the number of different staff members I need. Now, you might be asking, hey, how many different signals we can have? You can have as many signals as you like. For example, this is our own internal deputy in there. And we track a whole lot of different metrics. For example, in deputy, for deputy itself, we track how many different chats have taken place. I can uh, uh, track you know, how many different bookings have taken place, how many different signups are in there, um, how many signups have led, led to a conversion of a customer. All those things are actually tracked into deputy. And once I actually have my uh, different staff count in there, I can go and build my shift structure. Obviously, you don't have to do all these things when you just press the auto button. I'm just taking you through this step in how it is done. So in building of shift, now that I know that, hey, I need, say, two people um, in the kitchen at 12 o'clock, obviously, I'm not just going to get them to come in for one hour shift. I'm going to get them to come in for um, a minimum of four hour shift. But if I can't find coverage to do other things, an eight hour shift, for example. Uh, my base model is my record stuff, which is what um, I have entered. Or I can actually have deputy automatically learn from what has happened in past. So deputy can look back to say that, hey, how many barristers, wor barristers worked at uh, 11 o'clock on last Tuesday? And it can automatically pick based on that. And also, um, when are the shifts starting? You now, are they starting at the hour or at 15 minute block or, um, or 30 minutes? Most likely it's going to be hourly or 15 minute block for you. And yep, build those shifts. And deputy will automatically go build those shifts out for you. I'm going to use a new venue. So let me go and build record stuff. So as you can see, deputy would have built the shift structure which matches your business demand. And once that's done, I can go automatically fill these empty shifts. I can say that, hey, um, I want to keep my cost as low as possible. I want to provide equal number of hours for all the employees. And I can also have it, the fact that it can learn from what I've done in past. So quite a lot of things in Deputy, it can actually see what you are doing and what you have done in past and apply the same things um, into its um, AI logic. And then how long do you want to wait? Just a minute or so or um, a couple of extra minutes in there. So based on that, I can hit um, I'm autofill. But before I go in there, let me just show you. There's quite a lot of advanced recipes, and there's a link to go go get some recipes in there. Uh, feel free to contact us, and we can give you additional recipes if needed. And when I filled, uh, hit this button called um, autofill empty sheets, what Deputy is now doing is that it's actually going and trying to find out, hey, who can work as a manager? Is it Aaron versus Andy versus Dennis? And 
putting each of those employees in there, it will try to find the most optimum schedule. And it's not just one dimension. It will try to find, hey, what's the best cost as well as it gives me the best equal number of um, hours between each employees. And yep, uh, b b based on all those things, it will automatically go and build the shift out for you in there. This is something that we have been working on for quite some time. It's actually our vision that one day you don't have to do your scheduling at all. You don't have to log into Deputy or anywhere to do your scheduling. We will do it for you. Um, automatically, Deputy will do it because it has seen how um, you're running your running your business. That is the ultimate vision. But before we get there, we have to take our first step. This is our first step. Thank you, and have a great day.